Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel John Lewis 3D Learning. In this presentation we are going to see language of chemistry in 9th standard. The topic is how a chemical equation made more informative. Okay, so let's see very quickly what all those things first and then we will discuss all those points. So the first point temperature, pressure and catalyst can be mentioned here in that equation. Additionally, we can mention all these conditions and secondly, we can make it uh, known to us know whether the reaction is reversible or irreversible by assigning some signs for it. Okay, third one heating whether uh, we have to supply heat or whether the chemical reaction is giving out heat that can be mentioned here or whether we have to supply heat that can be mentioned in this equation. Then the physical states of solids, liquids, gas or aqueous can be mentioned in the chemical equation and whether heat is absorbed or evolved can also be mentioned in a chemical equation. Then the concentration of the reactants can be given whether it is diluted or concentrated can be mentioned in that equation and lastly whether one of the one of the products formed is a precipitate or not can be mentioned by an arrow mark pointing downward. So let's see with an example for each and every point. So let us take uh, this equation nitrogen plus hydrogen gives ammonia. So here what are the conditions at what temperature this reaction takes place, what pressure this reaction takes place or what is a catalyst used here all these things can be mentioned above or below the arrow mark. See here the catalysts are iron and molybdenum. The temperature is 450 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 200 to 900 atmospheric pressure. See all these conditions can be mentioned either above or below the arrow mark. Okay, This is the first additional information we can provide for a chemical equation. Okay, Second one whether the reaction is reversible or irreversible. See here let us take this equation iron plus steam H2O is steam that is water gives what Fe3O4 iron oxide plus hydrogen. Whether this reaction is reversible or irreversible how this can be mentioned by this symbol. See here half arrow mark is pointing towards product side then half arrow mark is pointing towards the reactant side. So that means this reaction takes place both in the forward direction and the reverse direction. Therefore, it is a reversible reaction. If it is irreversible, so normally how we put that arrow mark? It is pointing from reactant side to product side. That means that reaction is irreversible. So here it is half arrow mark pointing towards product side and half arrow mark pointing towards reactant side. Therefore, this is a reversible reaction. And third information additionally can be shown in a chemical equation is heating whether we have to heat or not. So this can be mentioned above or below the arrow mark by a triangle by putting a triangle it is understood that external heat is supplied. So we have to heat potassium chloride for this reaction to take place. Okay, Let us move on to the fourth point. So the physical states are mentioned here. For example, let us take this one zinc plus hydrochloric acid gives zinc chloride plus hydrogen. So zinc is solid, zinc is, S stands for solid and hydrochloric acid within bracket is written as AQ that means aqueous. So here the hydrochloric acid gas is dissolved in water and becomes solution. So that is what is mentioned by aqueous and one of the products zinc chloride is in aqueous form and hydrogen is a gas H2 gas. Here all the physical states are mentioned for all the reactants and products. Okay, The next additional information is absorption or evolution of heat whether heat is absorbed or heat is given out in this reaction that also can be mentioned along with the equation. How? Here carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus heat that means heat is given out carbon when carbon reacts with oxygen or when carbon burns in oxygen to produce carbon dioxide heat is evolved 
that is why it is mentioned as plus heat plus heat means heat is evolved so let us take another equation carbon plus oxygen gives carbon monoxide so for this reaction to take place we have to supply heat that means what here heat is absorbed that is why minus heat minus heat means heat is absorbed okay then the sixth point is the concentration also can be mentioned here whether it is dilute or concentrated let's take here one example zinc plus dilute sulfuric acid so zinc plus dilute sulfuric acid that means uh, sulfuric acid has has got very limited concentration it is not high uh, it is very low concentration that is what is known as dilute dilute sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen and another one let us take zinc plus corn h2so4 co and corn means concentrated that means what the amount of sulfuric acid is more in that solution that is what is known as concentrated concentrated sulfuric acid see sometimes we see you no know, uh, in coffee we get uh, more than enough sugar that means what that is highly concentrated with sugar sometime sugar is insufficient that means what dilute sugar there where the concentration of sugar is less there so that is what is the meaning of dilute and concentrated so that can be mentioned along with the chemical equation and the equation can be made more informative and what is the last one precipitate whether one of the reactants formed is a solid substance or not can be mentioned like this how this can be mentioned here when silver nitrate reacts with hydrochloric acid nitric acid and silver chloride are formed silver chloride is a precipitate that is a solid substance so other product nitric acid is aqueous that is in liquid form okay so silver chloride is solid substance that will settle down at the bottom okay so that is mentioned by an arrow mark pointing downwards is it clear that is known as precipitate so this is how a chemical equation can be made more informative so let us quickly recap what is the first one temperature pressure and catalyst can be mentioned whether the reaction is reversible or irreversible made known to us and whether uh, uh, we have to supply heat or not that can be mentioned by putting a triangle above the arrow above the arrow mark and the physical states of the reactants and products can be mentioned and whether heat is absorbed or evolved can be mentioned along with the equation in the product side if you put plus heat that means heat is evolved if you put minus heat in the product side that means heat is absorbed then the concentration of the reactants whether it is dilute or concentrated can be mentioned and finally whether a precipitate is formed or not by putting a arrow mark pointing downwards after the formula of that particular chemical if it is a precipitate so arrow mark pointing downwards is mentioned there clear so hope you understood this and you like this video thank you very much for watching until we meet next time bye bye